Good evening, everyone. Thanks for staying with us. Only 11 can show you this terrifying video. The moments an armed robber held two teenagers at gunpoint. You see them duck for cover beneath the counter inside the Subway restaurant in Center Township, Butler County. But I want to focus in on this part of the video right there. You see the suspect running from the store with money flying out of the subway bag. Only Channel 11's Amy Marsinkowitz got a look at that video and Amy did the suspect say anything before this all went down? Well, troopers tell me, Peggy, that he walked into that store nonchalantly, that he made small talk, that he asked if they were hiring, and then he ordered a meatball sub. And then shortly after, police say he pulled that gun. State police say multiple surveillance cameras captured the robbery inside the subway store in Center Township, Butler County, Wednesday night. Troopers say watch as this guy pulls a silver handgun, waves it crazily around, jumps on the counter demanding cash from the two teenage workers. He actually orders before uh, the robbery occurs, uh, and then uh, he uh, brandishes a uh, what looks like a, uh, a pistol, a silver pistol. But that's not how it started. Investigators say the guy in the Adidas sweatshirt shirt walked in and no particular hurry right before closing time making small talk with the employees asking if they were hiring he ordered two meatball subs troopers say the clerk told him they were out of meatballs and all of a sudden the guy went berserk pulling and pointing that gun he ordered one worker to the ground the other to fill a subway bag full of cash police say as he got back up on the counter again the gun feet from the teenager a teenager who noticed the suspect had something on his face he has some sort of bandage um, or covering over his nose. Whether it's real, whether it's to hide a mark, uh, we're still trying to determine. After jumping off the counter with the money, an outside camera shows the suspect running away. You can see he stops in the distance when the money bag blows open and he bends over to pick up the flying cash. State police hope someone can identify him through these videos. Fortunately, nobody was uh, injured, but uh, uh, we're, we're, we still need help identifying him. Yeah, you have to feel for these kids. They were only 17 and 8 years old. They were shaken up, police say, but they were not injured. If you recognize that guy or anything in that video, you are urged to call state police. Reporting live at State Police Barracks in Butler, Amy Marcinkowitz, Channel 11 News.